Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending March 17th. Hopefully everybody's had a great St. Patrick's Day and maybe still even celebrating. It's still the weekend here and I think in Chicago it's going to go all the way through Sunday and maybe into the early hours of Monday. We have a lot of Irish people in the Chicagoland area. I asked my friend Baker if he could possibly send in some footage and I'm going to start it playing right now. He sent me in some footage of a truck where he works that is filling up with compressed natural gas. It's really nice. He's showing the pump. He's showing the tanks on the truck itself. It's an IVECO, IVECO truck, I'm guessing, from Italy. It has 10 tanks total and holds around 300 pounds of gas. Uh, let's see what he says here. His, he says about it, it has 10 tanks. It has four tanks on each side and two behind the cabin, 10 in total, 140 kilograms, which I'm guessing is pretty close to 300 pounds of total compressed natural gas that it holds. Seems like Ivco's on the cutting edge of this kind of technology, so it might be possible we even see some of the trucks here in the United States. I haven't seen one myself. Maybe they already are to some extent here in the United States, but if our technology doesn't catch up quick enough, seems like the trucks are switching to natural gas, and Ivco seems to have the lead. I'll give you the link to the uh, article in, uh, well, it's just simply, it's Ivco.com, and this is the press kit where it talks about the different types of designs they have for the different uh, regions and the different types of fuels that are needed. Next up, this comes from Oslo, Norway, the second time, as far as I know, in recorded history, and I think the article says it too, that um, a meteor has actually smashed through a house. Uh, these are This is a couple that were going up to their cabin, I guess, and they'd been away from it a while, and by the time they got up to their cabin, they saw a huge hole in the roof. Uh, they're thinking from observations that around March 1st was when it actually happened, although they didn't get to the cabin until quite a bit later. But there was a sizable hole in the roof, and I'll show you a photo. I have a photo of the meteorite, of half of it at least. It seemed to have split into two main pieces, um, probably a little bit smaller than the size of your fist and a few little minor chunks, but it seems to be quite a sizable rock, and they estimated it was probably traveling somewhere between 300 and 1,000 miles per hour. And... Last up, I want to feature a video here. This is from Biker Bits AUS, and I will have a link directly to the video. Check out his channel too, by the way. He gives a nice review, but not only a review, but a demo of software, which is called Highlight Hunter, and it's at highlighthunter.com. But check out his video. It's just under 12 minutes, and I like it because besides just reviewing the video, he demonstrates exactly how he uses it and shows the menus and everything. The, I'll give you the basic short story of this is if you're riding along and like a lot of people that are into vlogging you like to leave your camera running if you're vlogging from a vehicle, walking, bicycle, whatever if you see something and your video is going to be maybe an hour or two long because you just keep your camera running all you do is you just take your hand and put it up in front of the camera lens and that will automatically give it a point like a bookmark and then when you go back to edit before you edit your footage, you take the raw footage and run it through this Highlight Hunter program and it will actually cut out those sections to where the highlights are. You can program it to go from when your hand blocks the camera, you can have it back up 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. So once you've seen something and filmed it and you want to try to not have to search for it by just tediously searching as you get back home, just remember, put your hand up, block the light in front of the lens. Uh, I guess it's got sensitivity settings too to where if you're going through a tunnel or something like that you can adjust the sensitivity so it doesn't just trigger with slight changes in light. So Anyway, check out his review, check out his channel. Um, that's it for this weekend. Take care everybody. I will catch you next week.